<laughs> Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the side with him. Damn, you're scratching the paint! Where was I? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Damn, you're scratching the paint! Anyhow, like I was saying, you remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. <gasps> hey, man, be careful! Like I was saying, they moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our hair. <laughs> Where was I? I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low with Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Well, who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. 
<laughs> there were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Cliff. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> What you're doing? Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. <laughs> <laughs> 